Rabbi Shalom, Shalom. Hey, what a brother from the Peter's camp. That being said, we're going to give all honor, glory, praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakat, Radash. Double honor to our elders, the great millstone, and peace and salutation to the brothers out there doing his work, peace and sincerity, and diligence and diligence, man. What we want to get into today is just uh, pretty much an open forum about uh, things that are going on, man, uh, and then through the spirit, we're just going to flow. You know, we're going to get on that. That coming persecution that's coming, man. That coming Jacob's trouble, man. In that Psalm, Psalm 11 and 2. Come. Hello, the wicked ben bend their bow. For the wicked bend their bow. That's what we're talking about uh, Esau most primarily. He, he's bending his bow. He's getting his armaments ready. Because you can best believe that that martial law is coming. Uh, those race riots are coming. Uh, persecution of the men of the Lord is coming, man. You know, they, the wicked, they're, they're bending their bow. They're getting their, their, their arsenal ready, man, for, for persecution of the... Of the, of the Israelites, man. You can see that because they're in the news, because they're demonizing the Hebrew Israelites. You know, that's their agenda right now. That's the, that's, that's the propaganda that they're pushing. You know, keep on going. They may bury their arrow upon the stream, that they may probably shoot at the upright in heart. That they may probably shoot at the upright in heart, man. So they're prepared. They have an agenda. They, 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 they prepared and they have an agenda to go against the men of the Lord, the men out there doing this work, because this work, this truth is really getting to them, man. It's really uh, being uh, thrown on their side, so to speak. You know, and they have to stop it. But that's all That's all prophecy, man. Because at, at one point, you know, the Lord's going to take his men off the highways and edges. And that has to happen somehow in some way. You know, that's just prophecy. The famine of the word has to come. That's one of the many prophecies that need to be fulfilled, you know, for, this, for, for the Lord to come back and seal his elect. And bring a uh, righteous judgment on this place, man. Because that's what I got to say. Go ahead. This is Revelation 12 and 12. You know, we all know the scripture, man. And this is going into what, what what's happening right now, man. We're seeing the beginning stages of Esau, you know, um, tidying it up in, in what's being pushed out in the highways and bowers, man. You know, he, he he's taking notice. He's putting a, a big uh, scope on, on the Israelite movement, you know. Uh -huh. So this is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Um, you know, and you know the brothers always say, man, that this truth is, is Esau's biggest enemy, man. So he can do anything in his power to demonize us, to you know, to pretty much put the people against against the men of the Lord, man, you know, because everything that we're preaching it goes against goes contrary to Esau's society mm -hmm. and how he rules this society, man, because we represent righteousness. To a wicked ruler, man. So, hey, man, he's gonna do like the scriptures say. He's gonna come down having great wrath, you know. John, and that's and that's self-evident, man. And uh, you know, because the Esau does have his eye on just, uh, the Hebrew Israelites, the men out there that are teaching this word. You know, he, he has an eye on them, man. You know, you can best believe that he has it on watch list and, and so on and so forth, man. You know, but he's he's ready. He's ready, man. He's ready. He's getting ready. To come down because they what is the, the devil coming the devil uh don't have the short times so but coming down a great rap for the paraphrasing man. But I got this one real quick. This is uh Psalm 37 and 32 it says the wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him. You know, so that's exactly what, what the devil is doing right now, man. He's watching those men, he's watching the men on, on the highways and hedges doing his work, and he's and he's seeking to slay him, he's seeking to what slay his 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 name. First and foremost, and, and before, and after that, he's gonna he's gonna seek the lives of the men of the Lord, man. Because that's Esau's mo, man. He he'll kill your character, and then he'll come after you once once everybody's against you, and that's what he's done, man. What did he do with the Black Panthers, all the groups, all the J groups that have come up as revolutionaries, man? He antagonizes them, he breaks the character, he demonizes them, and then he brings them down, man. He moves on them, you know. So that's what he's trying to do with the with the movement of the Hebrew Israelites, man. He's trying to you know antagonize us, make us look like like demons and terrorists and whatnot, you know, because that's his end plan to, to send the men of the Lord to those concentration camps and part of, and also all, all those people that speak up against the government, man, because there's a lot of, um, a lot of um, YouTube channels where there's these, even these Edomites, man, that go against everything that Esau represents, man, so, hey, man, he, you know, he's, he's, he's th these are the beginning stages of Esau, you know, cutting the internet, man, like, taking that, that, that um, the doors of grace, you know, the doors of mercy that the Lord has opened for His men, you know, the, the, for the for the nation of Israel, man, they're being slowly but surely closed. So, hey, man, that's why it's a high time to awake. Why got this, bro? This is uh, Romans thirteen and eleven, and that knowing the time, that now it is a high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation near than we believe. 
The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. You know, and um, the point being, man, that our salvation is near, man, because we're seeing these, these things going on. This should, this, should, this should excite you in the spirit, man. Like, hey, man, hey, he's about to do something big. He's about to move on us. Hey, man, that just goes to show, because the scriptures talk about it, that once he moves on the men of the Lord, man, the, the, the Most High Abba is going to lift up a standard against him. Uh, you know, so, hey, man, these are exciting times that we're living in, man. So the scripture says that is it a high time to awake out of sleep, man? It's a time to work. It's a time to to put the best foot forward and start to, and, and take that um, that sluggish spirit off of you, you know, because it's just popping up left and right, man, you know? And the scripture says right here too, and let us put on the armor of light, man. Um, we have to put on your Hashem, man. We have to be about this and, and, and endure to the end, man. You know, it gets hard, but... Hey man, we have to be a, a good soldier for your Hashem Hashem, man. You know, and put on that armor. Hey, that once you have this armor on, hey, you, you have the defense of your Hashem Hashem, man. He's gonna defend us. He's gonna fight for us. You know. Come on, man. This is uh, the book of uh, Revelation 12 and 10. It says I heard a loud voice saying, in "Heaven, now has come salvation and strength, mm -hmm. and the kingdom of the Most High, and the power of uh, His Hamashiach." For the accuser of our brother is cast down, and the accuser of the brother is, is uh, Esau. Because really, the so-called white man, he's, he's really our brother. He's like our, 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 our estranged, wicked brother. All right, It says, the accuser of our brother is cast down, which accused him before the most high day and night. And that's what he does. That's what he does, man. You know, especially when you got, you know, when he sets up, you know, a guy to... Uh, be in Washington D.C. and yeah. and and, and, and <coughs> <coughs> so like the agent provocateur, or, yeah, or, yeah. you know, certain people that are that are, are hired, okay, by the by the uh, the elites to push their agenda to to a uh, uh, problem, reaction, solution. You know, that's what they, that's what they do, man. Mm -hmm. he, he he he's accuser of, of of his brother. You know what I'm saying? So we are brothers to them. You know, the so-called Edomites, but you know. The, uh, they were cut off from being a, a, a righteous nation, okay? Because the law, the laws of the section commands were given to the Israelites. Mm -hmm. It says, it says, and yeah. it says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. All right, so if you're part of the elect, your sins are covered, man. Okay, it says, and by the word of their testimony, because really, uh, you know, this 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 word is what's overcoming, is what's gonna what's gonna you know grant a man his salvation. He's part of the elect. His blood. Uh, the Lord's blood is, is covering that man, you know, so that's why you have to do the work you know, because you're testifying uh, of your Savior openly. It says, and they love not their lives unto death, right? So, you know, we don't love our lives unto death, man. You know, we're, we're prepared to have to give up that ultimate sacrifice. Come on, man. That's one. Who's that one? Yeah, I was, I was, I was, um, Brother Barr was saying, I said that, hey, once you got the, the arm on, huh? hey, uh, you must say God's turn. It says, Psalm 37. And 17, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the most high upholds the righteous. Come, man. So the, hey, the most high is going to be with those men that, you know, those those men that signed Christ, the men that got that spiritual mark upon them, man. Hey, the most high is going to, hey, what does it say in uh, the, uh, Psalm 91, man, that they're going to be under, we're going to be under the protection of the most high, man. He's going to take us under his wing, you know. And I get the name quick up. Yeah, this is a moment, but what, 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 what I was saying is, uh, you know, how the Lord's going to protect us, man. It says, uh, you know, because we already, because, you know, you believe, man, you have faith and you're one of those men, we already won this fight, man. The scripture already told us who won. And that ain't fucking Esau, man. It's, it's, it's going to be the men, of the, the men of the Lord doing this work and, and, and you know, do Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Like I got this one right here. It says, uh, it says, Romans 8 and 36 says, really, for that sake, we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter, man. So, hey, he's counted as a sheep for the slaughter, the so-called devil, this white man, man. You know, he, he's he's looking to exterminate uh, massive amounts of people. He's looking to exterminate those that go against his new world order and his agenda. You know, he's looking, he's counting them as sheep for the slaughter, man. But we have to have faith in the times that are to come. And that's what you're saying, knowledge is, and knowledge and wisdom be the stability of your times, man. That, that's what's going to keep you through. Not not uh, hoarding food or or or, or being a, a doomsday prepper. None of these things are going to save you, man. I'm going to keep on going today, and all these things we are more than conquerors 
for him that loved us, man, and, and that's talking about Yahweh Shai said that Yahweh Shai said that Yahweh Shai said that, said that he loves us and we do his will, we follow us and we obey his commandments and to the best ability of our brothers in this true try to do, man. And a lot of them people, man, you know, two-thirds of our own people, man, are going to be led to the slaughter. Oh, they God. are being led back to the slaughter, man. Right, How are they being led, man, by all these false prophets, all these, all these shepherds that care not about the, about the sheep, man, these hirelings, you know, the scriptures talk about it, man. That, that that a hireling doesn't really care about the sheep, you know, about the about the sheep, you know. So that's what these people represent: these pastors, you know, these and even these other groups, man. That they don't they don't um, bring out the whole hundred percent truth, man, because the Most High hasn't bestowed that gift upon them, you know. So a lot of people are being led to the slaughter, man. They're they're giving they're being given unto the hand of Esau, man. So you know, the Most High is, you know, he made Esau his sword. So, hey, man, they're going to meet the sword with their, with their big daddy Esau, man, because that's what they consider these Edomites. You know, they're, they're gods. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're um, hey, man, <laughs> especially the women, man, the, the Israelite women, they, they, they seek out after oh, yeah. these Edomites, man. Okay? So I, I got this, though, real quick, bro. You know, back up the point, man, that these no. devils, hey, man, everything they, they, they do is wickedness, man. This is on Proverbs 4 and um, 16 for they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall You know, and that's what these devils do man. You know that that whole um, Washington DC um, Scenario that happened man that was all done in wickedness because Esau knows That that hey man, he's gonna he's gonna he has, he has an agenda pretty much man and, and that agenda it, Part of it is to, to bring us down, man, to, to attack the men of the Lord, you know, to sit, to put that spotlight on us, that wicked spotlight, you know. Come on, bless him, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to look for a little quick. God, I think man. it's in the book. Come on, man. So, you know, so that's why we have to be more circumspect and how, and how we handle our business out there, man, and how we and hedges in our personal life, man. We have to be more aware of what's around. We have to be more watchmen, man. You know, that's why, you know, that's why we constantly get into news articles. That's why we send brothers, brothers send each other news articles throughout the week. And, you know, we come to keep an eye on, on videos and things that are happening and, and news reports and, and feeds and information feeds and, and things like that, man. You know, you got to be a watchman about things. You got you to look for the signs of the times, man. You know, so, so that's why we have to stay in that, that spirit of, of being watchful, of being alert, of being so, what does Peter say, man? Be sober and vigilant, man, because your adversary, the devil's coming seeking who may the power, man. So that was that was an order right there. <laughs> you know, that came from Yahab Hashem Yahushai, man, for, for, for us of these last days to be sober and vigilant, to be sober, to be a prepared mind and vigilant, to be watchful, you know, of the things that are coming. That's what I'm going yeah, back here. Well, this is Isaiah 62 to 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, yeah, O come. Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Come. Ye that make mention of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, keep not silent and give him. No rest till he established until he make Jerusalem a praise to the earth. Come, man. So you know the Lord said nothing watchmen. The Lord, the Lord has those men on the highways and hedges. The, the Lord has videos pumping out 24-7, man. Uh, I, I remember I seen a video where, where they were basically seeing that there's no way possible that you can watch every GMS video because there's just too much of them, man. There's just there's just an overabundance of, of this word being pushed out. You know, this vibration of, of this word being pushed out, man. So that's the Lord having his watchmen on point and on and on watch 24-7, man. Hey, the scriptures speak about, about, uh, about the Lord having in the ancient days, they had a first watch, second watch, and third watch. There was always somebody on watch in Israel, man. And, and it ain't no different than these so-called modern times either. The Lord has his men on watch. The Lord has his men out, out there pushing the vibration of this word for the destruction of America. Man, the Lord has his men out there prophesying the destruction of America, man. You know, bringing out those prophecies, you know, bringing out that edification for the elect, man. You know, because then ultimately this is our job that we are here to do. If you are one of those, show, you're one of those men, most of the time we be those, those chosen men. But we don't, but now we don't know that we are called to do what? We are called to do his will, to be about our father's business, to, to uh, push this word, you know, to the best of our ability, to the faith that was given us by Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. That's what they go. Kind of got, this is uh, the book of Luke 12, and I'm skipping. Uh, going to get to the point in 38 it says and if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch you and bind them so blessed are those servants man because we're servants man we're here to serve Yahweh and how do we serve we serve by by bringing out this truth man bringing out 
you know, the fact that, you know, these devils are going to try to roll on us, man. You know, the, uh, one, matter of fact, one of the brothers in the camp, uh, he overheard, okay, um, on, the, on the radio, all right, they were talking about on the radio here in uh, Arizona about what happened in Washington, D.C., all right, about, you know, the so-called uh, uh, HOI, all right, that whole scenario with HOI, brothers are, are well familiar with that, but, you know, it's on the radio here in, in AZ, all right, one of the brothers was shown, uh, sent out clips through the text message, mm -hmm. all right, you know, so we know that these devils are, 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 are uh, you know, they're doing this, man, you know, they got the agent provocateur set up, all right, they got the, 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 you know, the, these other camps are out there, you know, you know, uh, proclaiming, you know, a portion of the truth, okay, but, you know, we know that, you know, we're, 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 that's what we were set up to really uh, not be ignorant of Satan's devices and really see through the whole thing, you know, I, we, we've been privy to know that, you know, really, all right, uh, that, you know, we're the ones that are really bringing out the, the whole truth, knowing that this guy was just set up, this, uh, this, uh, this guy, you know, mm -hmm. so we're, we're, you know, we're on our watch, man, and, and it's all to the spirit of the Lord, all right, and, and like the brother was saying, in the ancient world, you did have one, two, and three watches, because, you know, really, you know, Israel's like an army, all right, when, yeah. when you had a city, you know, and back in ancient Israel, the, the city was guarded, you know, by walls, and there was a man, and, and blessed is that man who, when the Lord coming, you know, whatever watch, all right, because you don't know what time the Lord's coming, you don't know whether it be the first Second watch, third watch, the Lord's letting you know, hey, man, I can come at any time of the night or any time of the morning or the day, the afternoon, whatever the case may be. I got to come. This is First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be, vid be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Come, so that's what we're that's bringing out. That's the word of God on the scripture. <coughs> be sober, to be vigilant. To, 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 you don't know what time the Lord's coming back. So hey, what does the scripture say? What does the scripture say, man? Blessed is he that that he finds uh, laboring, man, doing his work, being you know, being in the spirit, you know. So so we're, so you, that's why you have to constantly be about this business, man. That's why you have to constantly be about doing this work, you know, have, being having this truth and and the work and the labor that we're given to do as the priority in your life, especially in these days, man. You know, because the Lord's not, the Lord's going to get uh, the Lord don't don't deal with slack men. You know, the Lord doesn't deal with, with lukewarm men. The Lord doesn't deal with soldiers, man. Diligent soldiers. You got something? Yeah. Go ahead. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things wow. that shall come to pass God. to stand before the Son of Man. God, watch, watch ye therefore and pray always, man. So that's another thing that we have to be more diligent in, 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 in putting in our daily eyes is prayer, man. You know, the times are coming that we have to increase our spirituality in this truth, man. And prayer is one of them, man. Prayer is one of them. Hey, hey what the scripture says that that uh, to, to the prayer of righteous man a bit is much, man. You know, and, and, and so so we have to be we have to be and we have to use all the necessary tools of, uh, that the Lord has given us to fight this battle, man. Going back into what uh the 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 full the full the full uh what's it called uh, arraignment of the armor of battle, you know, that the Lord said to us to do what the helmet of salvation, the shield of faith, the Lord's word about the truth, your people share with the possible, the gospel of preparedness, man. And, and prayers and one of those things, man, the shield of faith to what? To to uh resist the fiery darts of the wicked one, man. So that faith is going to get us through these times that are coming through, man. So 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 a prayer increases your faith, man, because you're you're communing with your heavenly father, man. So like the brother said, watch ye therefore and pray that you be accounted worthy, man. Because the, what does that scripture say? That not everyone's going to be accounted worthy, man. The majority of these people, you two thirty so-called black and Native Americans, are not going to be accounted worthy. You're going to be your mark for destruction. But well, that's what we have to be humble. We have to be diligent. And we have to be about our father's business in these in these days and these persecutions and these days of trouble that's coming, man. You know this is a back in the in the book of Luke, chapter thirty-five. It says, "Let your loins be girded about on, and your lights burning." All right, because you have to. You know what the brother was saying, man. You know, as we see the day approaching, uh -huh. you know, we have to uh, uh, stay in the spirit, stay with this, with this, um, with this knowledge, because the scriptures also tell you, hey, uh, um, uh, in my mind. Mm -hmm. let, me, let, me, let me run it back. This is uh, Luke twelve and thirty-five. So let your loins be girded about, and your legs burning. Mm -hmm. You know, all the, the parable of the virgins, man, or the ten virgins. You know, five were wise and five were foolish. Right, some didn't take oil, man, and that oil is what is, is really the understanding of the scriptures, man. Knowing 
you know, exactly what this truth is about and having that in you, you know, because you have to really stay in the spirit, stay in the book, you know, daily feeding and serving others. All right. It says that he yourselves like unto men that wait for the Lord. So you have to be waiting for the Heavenly Father, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So to say hasten the day. When he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. You see? Mm-hmm. So you want you want them chariots to open up to you, man. You know, you, you want you want when the Lord comes back at that moment, you know, like that parable that you know, when someone knocks, the door opens right there. You want to be able to walk right out and, and, and be received into a chariot. That's if you know what? In the spirit and doing what the Lord requires of you. It says, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to me and will come forth and serve them. All right? And that's what serving the what? The crown of righteousness, the crown of everlasting life. Right? Yeah. I got something clear. All right, this is Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that yeah. he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, mm-hmm. against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. <laughs> Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, mm-hmm. that ye may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet, and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Mm-hmm. You know, so pretty much it, it, this whole scripture, man, it, it gives you an, uh, an ex- it pretty much tells you, man, that this fight, the spiritual fight that we have, man, hey, man, we're fighting demons and all kinds of um, abominable things, man. You know, Esau, hey, man, Esau got his witches on. Um, Every day praying to the Most High and telling them of the wickedness of our, uh, that we're doing, man. That's what the scriptures say. The accuser of my brethren, you know, because they accuse us daily uh, to the Most High, man. And, you know, and everything that's going on in the planet Earth, man. You know, you got transvestites, you got um, homosexuality, you got drugs being glorified. You know, everything that this society represents is wickedness, man. You know, the rulers of this place, hey, man, that they're heavy into um, Satanism, man, and and um, and, and praying to all kinds of demons, man. So that's why the scriptures say, man, that we have to put on the whole armor, you know, that whole armor to defend us from all the wickedness that goes uh, around the earth, man. You know, the scriptures talk about that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man, mm-hmm. you know, and the wicked bears rule. So if we're, we're, we're living in a, in a really wicked society, man. The, the scriptures talk about in Psalms um, that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil, man. And that's the spirit that brother's supposed to be on, man. We can't fear nothing. You know, we... What's the worst that we could that Esau can do to us? Just kill our physical body, man. Yeah, you know, but he can't kill the flesh. He can't kill the spirit. So like, he can't kill the spirit. You know who are we to fear? Hey, the scriptures say, man, fear him who can kill both both the body and in the spirit and in hell, man. Mm-hmm. You know that's what we're supposed to fear, man. So you know, going back into the scripture, man. You know, um, <clears throat> and therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness, man. You know, so we have to put on this whole book, man. This is our armor. This is our, our defense, man. You know, this is our, our, our comforter, man. Uh, you know, when you're feeling shitty, hey, read some scriptures, man, and it will uplift your spirit, man. You know, you're catching hell on your day-to-day. Get on some scriptures, you know, mm-hmm. stay in the spirit as much as possible. And, and, and hey, man, it doesn't even keep you on the, on the straight gate, on that straight and narrow path, you know? God, that's what the scripture says, having done all to stand. You know, so have so so that means that you gotta you gotta do it to the best of your ability, man. You gotta do the, everything in your in your realm of, of impossible of your realm of possibility to to do this work, man. Because all these things, you pushing hard for this truth, you really being about this work, you really uh, doing it. You know, being fervent in spirit, not scars from business. All this is just gonna benefit you, man. All this all this is gonna do it is. Is create a stronger mentality, a stronger spirit for you can so you can stand in the, those days of persecution when when this when this devil's gonna come after the man of the Lord doing this work, man. You know, cause hey, cause hey, when we come out there in the highway of the hedge, we already we already given our life to the Lord. We already agreed to give our life as a reasonable sacrifice to the Lord. So they no turning back now, man. Hey, the spirit say what? You, you put your hand to the plow, you don't you don't take it off, man. You know, it, it says that you know it, that you don't look back. You know, so we are ready. We are ready in the fight, man. 
The, the thing is that we have to stay in this fight. We have to fight harder now. You know, and yeah, the scriptures talks about he that endures to the end, the same yeah. shall be saved. You know, I want to continue. This ahead, verse, you know, this is verse sixteen. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, God. and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the Most High. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supp and supplication for all saints. You know, so hey man, that just gives you, you know, that goes into detail, man. Put on this whole truth, put on this whole oh. armor, you know, and everything that comes with it, man. Being brotherly, mm -hmm. you know, prayer, you know, fasting, yeah. studying, reading, you know, the scriptures talk about all that, man. And, and, and if you do all those things, you, you're not gonna fail, man. You're gonna succeed. Mm -hmm. You're gonna stay in the spirit, man. And, Hey man, and all through the spirit, the Most High is gonna keep you, man. He's gonna keep that hedge around you, you know, because you're doing His work, you're doing His bidding. You know, the scriptures talk about, man. Has any man have has anyone ever been condemned that he that him that trusted in the Lord? Uh, and the answer is no, man. You know, look at all all, of, all the history of the scriptures, man. All our forefathers, you know, because all the people that are in the Bible are all are are our forefathers, man. Mm -hmm. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. So hey, man, look at our forefathers. Has any of them that ever trust in the Lord been con 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 condemned and con or confounded? Man, that's just no man. The Most High always looked out for, after this man, man. And it's not going to be a, anything different this time, man. We're doing the word. We're out there prophesying and standing firm for the name of Yahweh Like it says in Wisdom of Solomon in the, first, the fifth chapter, man. Those, are, those were they that stood firm for the, for the name of Yahweh Shai, man. And now they did receive um, crowns in their heads. You know, so like it was second Esther's. Hey, man, but the point is, you know, we got to... We have a big reward coming for us, man, and and um, this little hell that we're catching, and, and you're not even gonna remember that shit when we're in the kingdom, man. You know, when you're in that ceremony where Yahweh Hashem Hashai Himself is putting that crown on you, man. You know, you're gonna remember all that shit. Like, damn, a hey, Tawada for me to endure, and Tawada the Yahweh Hashem Hashai man, for giving me that spirit to endure all the all the all the shit that I, that we went through, man. And to water for putting me through that shit, man, because I I was worthy of it. You know, the scriptures say, man, that He's putting us as Gold and silver that is in the friends of affliction, you know. So we have to go through some shit, man. It's all part of this truth, you know. It ain't a, it ain't a walking apart, you know. John, but the war that we're going to receive is going to uh, outweigh any hell that we catch right now. That's that's why the scripture says that that you know take take my yoke upon you, come my burden is light, you know what I'm saying. So 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 that so the the, the war that the most high will be be those men and receive it. It ain't shit compared to. I mean, the, the shit that we go through in this daily life. It ain't nothing compared to the great reward that we're going to get, man. You know, this is just a slap on the wrist, pretty much. But it takes a strong man and a strong mentality to go through the hell that, 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 that you know, that a man, the Lord, has to go through. Because a man, because the, because the thing about it, the Lord has to build you up. He has to increase you. You know, he has to make you a soldier, man. Because that's why they call him the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. Because, like the brother said, man, this is Israel's like a, a, like a military, like an army, man. Every man has their office, every man has their post, every man has their responsibility and their duty to serve the Lord, man. And the Lord is the, is the supreme commanding general of this army, man. And you don't, you, if you don't go against the commanding general of the army, you do what the, you take orders, man. And, and, and you do what you gotta do. You know, so, so, you know, we gotta, we gotta take these orders, man. We gotta endure it today. And you go fight that battle until the death is there. So be it, man. You got, you got something? You got something? This is Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. You see? So the watchman, you know, Habakkuk said, and, and we're standing upon a tower and we will, we will, we, you know, and spiritually, all right, we, we watch to see what he will say unto us, man. You know, we, we're, we're, we're supposed to be uh, uh, watching the prophecies, be, being a... a, a uh, diligent in the news, watching, you know, all these, all these strange calamities, you know, uh, you know, all Esau's new tactics and all his shaming tactics and all his demonization, you know, all these different things, all right, that this goddamn devil's going to be going to do. It says, and what, sh and what I shall answer when I am reproved, all right, that the Lord reproves you to the spirit, you know, the Lord reproves a man to another man, okay. And, and that's why we do these videos. That's why we go out to the highways and hedges because the spirit of, of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy, which is what to tell you for, but also to 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 comfort, all right, and to and to rebuke and to admonish and to uplift, all, you know, uh, 
fellow church members, you know, from different churches, you know, that's what we're here for. It says, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So we make this, we make it plain, all right? We make it plain to tell you, all right, that, you know, it's not an easy walk, but nonetheless, at the end, there's a great reward. And the Lord said he would be with us. The scriptures tell you, uh, like the brother brought out earlier, he said, um, uh, look at the generations of old and who was ever forsaken that, that abide in the fear. So that's what we do. You know, we, 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 we make these videos to, to send a message from church to church, you know, uh, 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 like a spiritual telegram and saying, hey, you know, we're in the fight. We know y'all brothers are in the fight. We got to continue. Uh -huh. Watch out what's going on. Be circumspect because these fucking devils want to roll, man. You know, and, and, and the Lord's going to be with us in that day, man. You know? Uh, yeah, that is, this is Revelation 20, 20, 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am the I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life uh, and may enter in through the gates into the city. Wow. You know? Come on, man. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. That's amazing. So what does the scripture say, man? That's what I that that endure these things, man. So, so so that's the key word right there, to endure. In order for us to endure the things that are coming, we have to have extreme faith and and, and we got to have you know extreme faith in this word, man. This word has to be a hundred percent real to you. The things that are written, the promises are made, have to be a hundred percent real to you, man. You know, that being said, we hope the lesson was edifying. I'm going to say, I'll rock the Ahawa, 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 r